what kind of questions we get in periodic table chapter in our board examination? Uh, periodic table is it's actually a very big chapter in, in itself and it covers a lot of different topics. But uh, typically, if one has to look at the bifurcation of the chapter in terms of the questions that appear, uh, that can be divided, first of all, in identification of the elements. You'll be providing an atomic number and or maybe you're providing just, just an element, let's say an element X is given to you and it says the atomic number is 12. How do you identify as to where this uh, element is exactly in the periodic table? These kind of questions come in. So in this case, generally we prefer uh, you you have to go for the electronic configuration, and this and this information, the shells and the uh, the last uh, valence electron gives you the information regarding the position of the element. Similarly, uh, uh, another very important topic is your uh, trends in periodic table. Now there are different types of it. You have uh, electron affinity, you have atomic size. So trying to get uh, you, uh, everyone we have already provided with students a picture where the trends have been represented. So you can try and memorize that picture that is from, uh, from a memory you can basically arrive at the answer even you might not be knowing in the examination. So that is one thing. And uh, in periodic table uh, generally uh, it's a question that are related to the uh, characteristics of the oxides of the different elements of the periodic table. That is something again related to the trains. So again, as if you are coming back to the most important topic related to periodic classification, it would be the trains associated with the periodic classification. If you can get a good hang of it, you'll be able to solve the questions quite easily.